Well, how's it going there, YouTube? Well, I haven't had a whole lot of recording here to do lately. Just haven't had a whole heck of a lot going on. It is almost the middle of February up here now. But, uh, yeah, other than pushing snow, I haven't had a whole heck of a lot going on. I haven't drove any tractors home. But I did have a farm farm cooked this morning, which I will get into here in a second. But I do have a video for you guys on just that today, and that's the farm toy. Because a lot of you have been asking why I haven't done too much farm toy stuff here in the last, well, probably been about a couple of years now. It's kind of... They've kind of gone in the back burner here a little bit, but uh, like I said, it is winter time. I usually do farm toy stuff in the winter now. I've been doing big tracks here the last couple of years if you guys have been watching the channel. Anyway, I had a kind of a spur of the moment trip down to Jolly's Farm Toys here this morning. Just to uh, put in Saturday and hadn't been down there for a little while since I was at the Florida auction sale the last time I was down there. That was back in September, and gee, it was a heck of a lot warmer that day than it is right now. But it was nice to go down and see Nick and check in and whatnot. And, See what has around. I will let you guys know right now. I do have some farm toy content coming up here in the very near future. Uh, let's you know a little secret here. I did order a Cockshot 30 model kit to build here on the channel for you guys. And then after that kit's done and painted and whatnot, I don't know if I'm going to keep it or if I'm going to give it away to one of you guys. Because when I hit 2,000 subscribers, I would love to do a giveaway for you guys. And I just thank you for watching me. And I'll just do it the same way I always do it. And whoever leaves a comment in the video, I'll draw your name out of the hat in maybe a month's time or so. But uh, watch for that. I said in the past I would like to give one of those away for you guys. So I don't know if I'm going to do the build on the channel and give it away or if I'm going to do the build and keep it here on my shelf. But I do got some farm toy news, show news here for you guys. Oh, you're talking too fast. You're tongue tied. <laughs> uh, there's a farm toy show coming up in Alma, Ontario, which is just literally just stone throw away from Jolly's place at the Alma Optimist Club. I'll flip this corner and maybe I'll show you guys a flyer we got. So this is going to be the first farm toy show we've had up here in Ontario and probably almost, well, 2019 I think was the last one we had. I don't know if the show in uh, Chatham or Kent got cancelled last year or not. I think it was just back in December there. But anyway, uh, the Alma Optimus Club is where the show is going to be held at. Sunday, March the 13th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Of course, the COVID rules do apply. Proof of vaccination and masking required. Kind of usual stuff right now. Also found out that the Bruce County Heritage Association is going to put their farm toy show on too. And that's the uh, show that's up in Miles May, just south of Walkerton. I was up there, I think the last time I was there is probably 2016 or 2017. I think my grandpa was the last time I went there. So, I mean, he passed in 2016. I think it might have been the last time I went up there. I can't remember right now. But, uh, yeah. They're going to have their show this year too, and that's the week after Alma. So we're going to have some farm toy show to go to here in the near future. Uh, I don't know if I'll do any recording after the show or not, and I kind of got to see who's in charge of one. I think Nick's actually in charge of the Alma show, so I may be able to do some recording there. We'll just uh, have to wait and see on that. I don't want to upset anybody, you know. But anyway, here's what I picked up from Nick's this morning. Nick had the assortment of all the new... Uh, Spec cast releases from Ego. So they had Oliver and Cockshut, Minneapolis. Don't have a highly detailed G1000 just yet. I have a, uh, a custom one that was done by, uh, oh gee, I can't even think of the name now. The same company that did the, uh, this 990 and whatnot too. Shoot, I can't even think of the name right now. Matson Miniatures, that's the one. I think I got two or three from Matson's. Anyway, yeah, I picked up a little G1000 there just to put in the cabinets. I've been kind of collecting Agco stuff here lately just simply because I've got so much uh, international and John Deere. Not that there's anything wrong with that. You just have so much up and time to get in there kind of something else. And yeah, it keeps it interesting too, I guess. So I have a little bit of something different because you guys may know it's a trend here. I think I've said it before in past videos. I got a Deere cabinet, KSH cabinet, Agco, and then this is just going to be kind of sorted. Uh, well, New Holland there on the bottom, but that's my gear implements and whatnot there. But that's going to be my assorted cabinet for all implements and whatnot, too. I may have to start putting some of my international stuff in there, too. But this top shelf's reserved for when I build my 1 16th scale of my real 1828 there out in the backyard. But yeah, anyway, just something kind of short and sweet for you guys. I know you guys have been curious about farm toy stuff and why it hasn't been so much here in the past couple of years. I uh, hope that gives you guys some insight here, and I really want to thank you guys for hanging around and whatnot, for not there being too many videos as of lately, just haven't had a whole lot going on. But I really appreciate each and every one of you for sticking around and supporting my channel. 
Uh, keep your eyes out in the future for a giveaway. And like I said, I'll have some farm toy content coming up for you guys here real shortly. So, as always, thanks for watching. And if you like what you see, please comment, rate, subscribe. Take care.